Personal Finance PowerPoint Presentation Guaranteed Issue Life Insurance Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Insurance is part of our long-term risk mitigation strategy where we follow the adage of measure twice, cut once, putting a formal process in place looking something like set the goals, develop a plan to reach them, put the plan in action, review the results, repeat the process periodically. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia, Guaranteed Issue Life Insurance, which you could find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This by Amy Fontenier, updated February 1st, 2021. In prior presentations, we've been taking a look at insurance in general, moving on to the life insurance. As we've been thinking about life insurance, we've got the two major categories being the term life insurance, the pure life insurance, the baseline kind of life insurance you would want to be comparing to whenever deviating from, and then the permanent life insurance. Keeping that in context, we're now looking at what is guaranteed like what is guaranteed issue life insurance. Guaranteed issue life insurance or guaranteed acceptance life insurance is a type of whole life insurance policy that does not require you to answer health questions undergo a medical exam or allow an insurance company to review your medical and prescription records so once again we're talking about a whole life insurance as opposed as opposed to the term life insurance which is kind of like the pure life insurance that we would always want to be comparing against and then it's an insurance policy that does not require you to answer health questions, which can be beneficial in the event that you have kind of health conditions or health problems that might uh, increase the risk to the insurance company. Because obviously, if you have health problems, the insurance company is going to say that you're more of a risk. But the fact that you don't have that same kind of health question component would also, of course, mean the insurance company is taking on more risk and possibly result then in higher uh, premiums in the event that you were like a healthy person for your age, for example. So, or undergo medical exams. So again, the medical exam process is one which usually lowers the risk to the insurance company. That's why they do it. So they want to see if you're a healthy person for your age and sex so that they can properly, you know, figure out what the premiums would be and what the risk would be to do so, or allow an insurance company to review your medical records and prescription drugs. So you may also see it referred to as, quote, no questions life insurance, end quote. So just, just give me the life insurance. But wait a second, are you on your deathbed, says the insurance company? Are you like dying? Do you smoke? Are your medical conditions bad? Just give me the sh insurance policy. Don't give me these questions. It may also be called, quote, no questions final exam insurance as well. So sounds great, right? Yeah, it does. I don't need this insurance company poking into my medical business when I'm buying my insurance. What's the catch? Here it is. Guaranteed issue life insurance always has a waiting period. If you die during the waiting period, your beneficiaries will not receive the policy's death benefit. So this is similar to what we have seen on things like the dental insurance and things like the eye uh, insurance. In those cases, when you're in the medical industry, oftentimes you have that thing where the, the medical industry is saying, we don't want to bar insurance for people that have, quote, pre-existing conditions, end quote. But obviously, uh, insurance just in of its nature is something that you need to buy before you have the problem. You can't buy the car insurance after you get in an accident in order to cover you for the damage to the car that happened when you got in the accident. That's kind of like the point so from the insurance company side of things they want to know that the condition hasn't happened yet or what the likelihood is of it to happen so that they can do their calculations so one way around that that we saw with the with the eye and the dental is they say okay we're going to put in a waiting period for the more expensive kind of things that could happen so you can't just ba sit basically say i need this expensive thing to happen and i'm just going to buy insurance right before it happens and then the insurance has to pay out right after that because that would be kind of ridiculous on the insurance company side of things. So they say, well, you could buy the insurance. We're not going to put in this this big medical uh, exam or check out your, your x-ray your teeth or anything before, but we're going to make you wait like a year. So if you need a root canal or something before that, you're probably not going to be able to wait that long. So you got a similar kind of thing with the insurance. Well, they say, well, if they're on their deathbed, we'll, we won't check it out, but we'll put you through the waiting period 
And so if you're on your deathbed, you're going to die before the insurance kicks in, possibly, would be kind of the rationale instead of looking for those pre-existing kind of conditions with an actual exam. So with most policies, the waiting period is two years. So you got two years. So you're on your deathbed. You're going to buy the insurance and they don't have to know that you're on your deathbed, possibly, because you didn't they didn't do a medical exam. But you got to hold on. You got to hold on for two years before you die. So with some it's three or possibly three so this is not some kind of scam in fact if you die during the waiting period the insurance company will repay to your beneficiaries all your insurance premiums plus interest usually at a rate of uh, 10 percent so your beneficiaries will still get something at that point uh, it will just be less than you'd like insurance companies put this waiting period in place because if they don't everyone could apply for insurance on their deathbed and pay a few hundred dollars to secure a $25,000 benefit for their family. So clearly, I mean, the way insurance company works, you have to, you have to buy the insurance, you know, they're trying to weigh the risk of you dying. If you're going to die tomorrow at like a 90% chance, that's what the doc says, then the insurance company would not behoove them to sell insurance to that individual. It's just kind of so that's how it is. So no insurance company could stay in business this way. Guaranteed issue life insurance provides coverage to sick people who otherwise couldn't get it. So how guaranteed uh, issue life insurance works. These policies get their name because the insurance company guarantees they will issue a policy to you as long as you are within the allowed age range when you apply. In other words, they are guaranteeing that they will accept you as a policyholder. The typical age range to qualify is 50 to 80 years old. If you are outside of this age range, you may still be able to get a guaranteed issue policy with some insurance companies, but you will have fewer options. Given these age requirements and the lack of medical underwriting health questions, uh, you can see why insurance companies market guaranteed issue policies uh, to this age group. So once again, you don't have the medical underwriting, which are the health questions, for example. Yet, many people in this age group, even those with uh, health problems, have options besides guaranteed issue life insurance. This type of insurance is best for people who have no other options because of their health or who can't afford any other options because of their health. So which, co which conditions uh, will disqualify you from any other type of health insurance? So clearly, you know, if you were to say, uh, try to get health insurance elsewhere, you're over a, a certain age limit, which would increase the premiums in and of itself. And if you have certain medical conditions, then that could be a problem for the insurance too. Okay, so which conditions will disqualify you from any other type of health insurance? Not as many as you think. Uh, you have a terminal illness with a life expectancy of less than two years. You have had or need an organ or tissue transplant. You are on dialysis. You have Alzheimer's or dementia. You are in a nursing home or hospice. You have cancer and it's not some kind of skin cancer. There's a specific skin cancer. You have AIDS or HIV. You are in a wheelchair because of chronic illness or disease. If you've ever had an elderly parent or grandparent, you probably know that a person with one or multiple conditions such as these look like. Uh, they have good days and bad days. Sometimes you think they are uh, on the brink of death, but then they suddenly turn around and seem better than ever. Their physical health, mental health, and physical abilities can seem really unstable. Uh, for most insurance companies, this level of instability represents too much risk, but some specialize in taking it on. So clearly, if someone is in uh, these types of conditions, then the insurance company would clearly be taking on more risk with regards to the insurance plans. And therefore, you might have particular types of insurance companies that specialize in plans for those types of people so that they can kind of uh, gear their risk assessment possibly more in alignment and therefore alter their their premiums and so on to be in alignment using the same kind of methods and policies you would think for uh, other types of life insurance in that if you have the big pool of people you can determine you know what the life expectancy and so on is for the big numbers pool and then possibly get some appropriate premiums uh, in such cases so alternatives to guaranteed issue uh, life insurance premiums always depend on your age, height, weight, health, gender. So we talked about these factors in the past. Clearly, your age is going to have a significant impact on whether you're going to die you know, prematurely or soon. Your height and your weight as a combination 
will give them an idea if you're at an average kind of height weight kind of uh, calculation your health clearly and then your gender because apparently women tend to live longer so uh, might have a, an impact on the stats too and therefore your premium uh, in states that allow gender-based pricing the death benefit and the policy type insurance companies do not have different underwriting guidelines for different types of insurance says rick sabo a financial planner and insurance fraud expert uh, whether you're buying term whole or universal the insurance company will put you in the same risk category however a different insurance company might put you in a different risk category in other words if you have a serious health condition such as diabetes one company might offer you a better policy than another many applicants and applicants with health issues believe they could never qualify for a policy that requires medical underwriting but that often isn't the case so you might say hey look i've got this medical condition an insurance company would be crazy to give me life insurance given my medical condition but you might find some uh, insurance companies that specialize in people that have kind of medical conditions and that and they can still play the same kind of numbers game in order to give a policy that might be appropriate in that they could put you know they can do the pool of people and so on and think about what the risk would be and and, and do it from that point knowing the conditions so it depends on the health condition and the issuer so people can get life insurance with underwriting even if they have a, cog a congestive heart failure and had a heart attack in the last 12 months or have had a stroke in the last 12 months among other health conditions so you would think those would be pretty restrictive kind of factors but possibly you can still find insurance companies that specialize in them. So for most people, it's worth applying for several policies that ask health questions to see if they can get a better rate or coverage and immediate coverage. Those who only want a small policy should look into guaranteed universal life, which can provide coverage to age 100 or even 121. So when I'm 121, that's when I'll buy my life insurance or final expense insurance. So guaranteed issue policies are useful, but only to applicants who don't qualify for policies with medical underwriting. So in other words, you might still, even if you have medical conditions, qualify with the underwriting, even though you might say, man, maybe I, I wouldn't qualify in that case. So you might wanna check that out first. So guaranteed issue, what's the catch? Except for with waiting period, guaranteed issue policies might sound too good to be true. Unhealthy people take out policies, pay their premiums, and die in a few months or a few years. The insurance company has to either return their money or pay the death benefit. How can insurers even afford to offer these policies? Quote, uh, the way life insurance companies make a bulk of their profit is not via the collection of premiums minus death benefits, end quote, says insurance broker Anthony Martin, the CEO of Choice Mutual, quote, they make most of their money via investments. Life insurance premiums are basically like interest-free loans to the insurance company, says Martin. The company invests that money. So it's kind of similar, like, how does my bank work? You know, they, I put money into the bank and then I just can take money out of the bank and so on. Well, that usually they're not holding on to all that money in the bank. They're investing the money. They're making the profit on uh, the money. So similar when you pay your premiums, they might be saying they could try to figure out how much of the premiums they're going to need for the benefit payouts to make sure that they can cover that. And possibly they're making money on the investments then. So in 2019, life insurance companies brought in $145.1 billion in premiums and $186.6 billion in net investment income, according to the Insurance Information Institute, a nonprofit communications organization supported by the insurance industry insurance companies invest in stocks mortgages real estate derivatives and other assets quote for guaranteed issue they do lose money on clients who die in the first two years end quote says martin it takes five years for the insurance company to break even on this type of insurance and it's a win-win for the insured in most cases quote the only time the insured would not come out ahead would be if they live long enough uh, where their premiums exceed the policy he continues when guaranteed issue fa falls short there are two scenarios in which a guaranteed issue policy might not pay off or be the best option these are if the insured lives long enough that the premiums paid exceed the death benefit or if the insured buys a guaranteed issue policy when they could have a uh, qualified for a policy that has medical underwriting so in other words if you're looking into that policy and you're saying i don't think i can 
I don't think I can qualify for normal insurance, but possibly you could have given the fact that uh, insurance companies uh, might might be more expansive in what would qualify than you would originally think. And then of course, if you got the guaranteed policy and you lived longer than, <laughs> than and, and then you paid more in the premiums, which might not be a bad thing, then maybe then it might not be the best option then. So policies with medical underwriting have lower premiums for the death benefits uh, they provide. So, so uh, they also offer immediate death benefits or a graded death benefit instead of having a waiting period. So what's the bottom line in all this? So that's what I want to, that's what I want to know. Despite these factors, guaranteed issue can be a valuable financial asset for people who can't otherwise get insurance. And those people aren't always seniors. They may be younger or middle-aged adults in poor health who want to leave money or uh, for their families. So no two guaranteed issue life insurance policies are the same. So as with other insurance policies, you should you should shop around for the one that best fits your needs. That way, you're more likely to find the best life insurance policies currently on the market. So clearly, this is kind of a specialized area in the life insurance, so possibly even more so than uh, in others, and like term life insurance, which you would think would be fairly bit more straightforward with the pure life insurance, you'd wanna be shopping around doing your homework on it. So look for affordable rates, something you know you'll be able to keep up with even if your financial situation changes because a lapse policy won't help anyone except the insurance company. Most importantly, don't assume you can't uh, qualify for a policy that has a health questionnaire. Uh, you won't know until you apply.